Okay. Today is the day I go to court about this here vehicle. I just noticed that. I just wanted to take a, make a quick video of this here. Noticing this right outside the door of the salon that I am at right here outside the door. This is all this old crazy stuff that they do every day, all day. Create different scenes. Most times, try, always still try to pin me for a case because I am suing Senator Catherine Cortez. So this is what she do daily. But this is right outside, as you can see, Tiffany's salon, right outside the door. This is what I have to um, go through every single day. That's what I have to go through. Just bullshit every single day. But nevertheless, God is good all the time. Today is today I go to court. Yay! These people here um, unlawfully towed my truck. So today at 1 o'clock, I go to court. And I left the uh, vehicle there at the towing place because I'm hoping to, uh, I'm hoping for the judge to drop all those fees, make them give me my truck back at no cost, and to um, get rid of that, uh, go ahead and pay for that ticket, that citation that they have given me because all of it was just purity, stalking, and harassment. And so I'm hoping to go into the courtroom today to prove that it was stalking and it was harassment, that the courts ordered them not to mess with my truck my vehicle so I'm on my way to court and I am definitely trying to get out of this here gaming in which Las Vegas has entered me into their gaming board I am their main target worldwide uh, for gaming and so this is the problem that I'm having the courts already ordered them to cease all activities in 2014 however I sent a letter to Catherine uh, Dr. Renee Starks she wrote the letter but I sent uh, Catherine Cortez a letter her Harry Reid and the cosmetology board a couple other people I personally had Renee Starks to write a letter sent them a letter telling them to cease and desist all of that business uh, deceptive trade uh, nepotism and all of these things that was in 2013 perhaps uh, January or February early February is when they got that letter but as a result of that letter Harry Reid, Catherine, uh, Stephen Horsford and all the other ones start attacking me because of that letter that they have gotten to cease um, that deceptive trade because from at that point I became a, I was a federal agent, uh, I'm sorry, a federal advocate for government. So Renee sent them that letter because I started working and, be, uh, let me see, I, ca I became a board member for her, for her federal uh, program that she had. So she told them that Samaya is now a board member of mine and you guys have to cease all of that uh, activity that you have because she's now a federal board member as a matter of fact for the silver heads she made me the executive head for the silver head board member which is a federal program well since then they all instead of them ceasing it what Catherine did her Harry Reid and Stephen Horsford and he said the eternal affairs and some members of the cosmetology board what they did uh, as a result of Renee sending them that letter they went on attack mode. Instead of ceasing the operation, they went on attack mode. So they started attacking me and my daughters and trying to put me out of business and chase me out of Las Vegas. So I am still here in Las Vegas, just trying to keep my, uh, rebuild my business back up. As you can see, I'm wearing my granny's t-shirt here. But I find it so ironic that <laughs> I have more than 6,000 clients on my database in my shop and I'm having I'm struggling with trying to get one client per week but in a normal sense I would have them lined up outside the door waiting on me but since I've been back here almost a year I'm having a hard time just getting one client per week less and again I'm the type of person that stylist that when I walk to the door I would have 20, 30, 40 people lined up outside waiting on me. Today, I can't even get one client per week, so I find that really odd here in Las Vegas. I was a uh, stylist for Monica Jackson on Fox 5 News, a good friend of Cynthia Newdale from Fox 5 News, the whole nine yard 
But now everybody is acting so brand new, as the young folks would say, they're acting so brand new around here. But I was a, and it still is, a celebrity here in Las Vegas. My commercials for my business appeared on television every single day. And I will appear on television um, and through programs such as Atlanta Housewives, BET, Soul Train War. So I got millions of viewers. So everybody in Las Vegas knows me. But due to this mass, mass conspiracy, they're blocking everybody from... Uh, coming to my salon from even being around me so this is what I'm struggling with today um, this mass conspiracy, uh, conspiracy this judicial judicial terrorism and all of the whole nine yard is what I am dealing with on today so you guys wish me well keep me in your prayers and I am just trying to uh, get saved off my back for, for whom much is given, much is required. So I just let that be the reason. I thank God for the good, the bad, and the ugly. And today we're going to have a beautiful day.